Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the buttons. As you can see, I can play the game on a mobile device using these buttons. For example, we can jump. Also, we can move. And we can shoot as well. So if you didn't watch the previous videos, go ahead and check them out. We are making a 2D platformer game. And in this video, we're going to add the mobile controls. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So before we start adding the buttons to our game, I want to mention that we are using the new input system and that's because we're going to use it to add the functionality to the buttons. So if you didn't check out my video about the new input system, I'm going to add a link to it under the video description, make sure to watch it. Basically we've created a player controls and it contains all of the actions like the move action to move using the left and right arrow keys. We've used the spacebar button to jump and the F key to shoot. So we're going to use the same keys to set up our buttons. And let's start by creating a panel to put all of the buttons inside it using right click UI panel and let's call it mobile controls panel. Later on, you could disable it if you want to play the game on PC. Then let's change the transparency to zero. And let's create our first button using right click UI then button and I'm gonna remove the text because I'm using few sprites then let's change the name of the button to left button to move to the left side then let's change the width and the height to 75 by 75 and I'm gonna change the source image basically I'm using few sprites like the left arrow we can drag it under the image then we need to move this button to this side using shift alt i'm gonna select this corner and let's move it by 20 on the y and 10 on the x then let's duplicate it using ctrl d and this is gonna be the right button to move to the right side let's change the x position to 100 and the sprite as well to the right arrow then it is easy to set up these buttons to move our player and that's because we've already used the left and right arrow keys to move the player we can select the left button then we can add a component and it's called on screen button then you could easily set the control path which is basically the key that we are using for example we are using the left arrow on the keyboard to move to the left side we can hit listen then click on the left arrow and if you select it our function will work like the arrow keys we can move our player the same thing for the right button we can add this on screen button component and set the control path by selecting the right arrow key now if we hit play and there you go we can move our player using these arrows and the same thing for the other actions we can add another button to shoot using right click or let's duplicate this one using ctrl D I'm gonna call it shoot button also we need another one to jump then let's move these to this side for example let's move the jump button to this corner and let's change the sprite to this up arrow also I want to move it a bit on the Y and on the X axis and let's move our shoot button on top of it then we only need to change the path for example we are using the F key on the keyboard to shoot we can search for the F key on the keyboard or we can listen and hit the F key and finally the jump button while using the space bar and that's pretty much it let's play the game and there you go now we can move the player using these buttons we can jump and make the double jump as well also we can shoot now we can build the game and test it on a mobile device but before that we want to make some changes 
first we need to make sure that our buttons scale with the screen size so if you change the aspect to this one you notice that our buttons get smaller and to fix this problem we can select the canvas then we can change the UI scale mode from constant pixel size to scale with screen size and now the problem will be fixed whenever you change the size our buttons will scale with the screen size also make sure to change the match to 0.5 it's recommended to do that and the same thing you need to change the canvas type from the main menu so we've added this menu we need to select our canvas and change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size and the match to 0.5 now we can build our game but before that we have one problem to fix whenever we play the game and try to pause it you see that it's not working and that's because we have the panel mobile controls on top of it and to fix that we can move the mobile controls panel on top so let's move it and that's because this is the order of the UI elements first we will have the mobile controls panel then we will have the pause button it's gonna work if you hit the pause button now and yeah it's working and to build the game we need to switch the platform to Android or iOS by going to file build settings then we can select the Android platform and let's hit switch platform so this is gonna take a little bit of time and once you do that you will be able to build the game using this build button or you could build it and run it I also made a video about how to build a game properly make sure to check it out I'm gonna add a link to it under the video description so before we build the game I'm gonna go to the player settings and change few settings like the product name I'm gonna change it to red adventure and from here we can change the icon of the game and under the resolution and presentation we have few options so our game is a landscape game that's why I'm gonna remove the portrait mode now let's build the game let's close this window and I'm gonna hit build and run let's put it under the desktop and I'm gonna call it build test then let's hit save and there you go we've built the game successfully now we can play it also we have the settings we can adjust the volume and let's play so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon I appreciate that and I will see you in the next one